His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. Rob just taking a few days off, put him in time out, think about what he did. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Little time off. He's allowed to do that. He's probably running a marathon right now just to relax. Oh, yeah. That's what I do when I'm off. <laughs> right. Jill. But right now, speaking of marathons and fitness and all that stuff, faith-inspired transformation, it is Kim Dolan Leto with us this morning. How you doing, Kim? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you. I'm glad Rob was off so I get to talk to you. I know. Rob does deserve a few days off, though. He works yeah. so hard. He does such a great job. Yeah, I tried to influence him to do some exercises and stuff. Try to I know, we've got to get him to work out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the big thing is, you know, why do we want to work out rather than just liking to lift weights, which is what I do all the time. <laughs> but I know it's, it's so hard to, like, how do we find your how do you find your why when you don't want to right because we're so busy how do we make it a priority and so i wanted to share today like why knowing why it will change everything it gives meaning and motivation to getting healthy and fit instead of like oh my gosh it, you know another day passed by I, I didn't get my workout in i didn't eat the way i wanted to so how do we get it front and center how do we make it happen in real life one of the whys you mentioned happens to be relational it is. I think this is huge. It, it, when I became a mom, I saw my daughter and I thought, oh my gosh, she is either going to learn all of my good or my bad habits, right? So I feel like being a role model for me really kind of put my life in a new light. And I hear that from a lot of moms. Like, I just want to be a good role model. I want, I don't want to give my kids my bad habits. I, I want to up my game for them. So you know, look at your kids, not only being a role model, but being around for them, being around for your spouse, being around for those people that love you, take care of yourself. You are worth it. So maybe today it's a relationship that is going to make you go, okay, like you're going to have your aha moment and be like, I want to do better for my little ones or my spouse, or I can make better choices, cook cleaner, cook more God made food, get that workout in, work out as a family. So I think relationships are really one of the main, there's three of them, and relationships are a main priority and focus that get us to go, okay, I'm going to do it today. Yeah, and I'm very familiar with this next one, having my own oncologist. I don't like having one, but going through the cancer, he really uh, stresses this next one being medical. It is. It's, you know, medical, the medical reasons for taking care of your health sometimes, unfortunately, happen after the fact. But for me, like my dad, I don't know if you know this, I, I was overweight. I was out of shape. I even had high cholesterol when my father had a stroke. He had a stroke at 47. And that's what started my whole passion for fitness is that I saw my dad who looked healthy. All of a sudden he had a stroke. And you, when you get that call, like, they called me and said, you need to come say goodbye to your father. I was 30 years old and I thought, oh my gosh, my dad's only 47. How in the world could that be? And he, there was no sign that he, that he would have a stroke. So it was very scary. So I want to just speak to that. You know, if there are things in your family today that you're like, oh my gosh, you know, everyone has high cholesterol, diabetes, go get a blood check. If you, if you need to be on high cholesterol medicine, if you need blood pressure, you know, medicine, or if you, if you need any of those things, go find out. I think sometimes we're too afraid to find out. We don't want to know, but getting just a simple blood profile from your doctor will tell you everything you need to know. And it might just be that one thing you need that makes you go, like for me, getting a high cholesterol test when my dad just had a stroke was what, what which is why we have faith inspired transformation today. I wouldn't have written the book. I, this became the passion of my life because I saw that the daily choices I was making were either going to take me to an early grave or I was going to be able to shine my light for God. And I didn't want to die early like my dad did. My dad passed away at 61. So I don't want to scare people, but I just want to, I want people to know that you can make a choice today to start getting healthy. And there's so many modif modifications you can make outside of medicine for blood pressure and all of that. But find out today because you are so valuable that the people in your life, they don't want to live without you. So I hope this speaks to someone because I have a feeling there are a lot of people that are sitting on the fence today going, yeah, I've been kind of needing to work on that or get my blood pressure down, get my cholesterol down, find out about this or that, find out today you are worth it. 
We're talking to Kim Dolan Leto, our faith and fitness expert, about how to find your why when you don't want to. And of course, our bodies are, you know, meant to be uh, our instrument of how we fulfill God's purpose for us. So I guess that would be number three then. Right. Number three is spiritual. We have, you know, those relationships are in our life. Number one, number two, we have medical. Number three is spiritual. I feel like God wants us to, I know God wants us to live out the call and the plan he has for us. So how can we do that? You know, if we're not healthy, if we're not feeling good, how are you going to shine your light? If you feel like uncomfortable in your own skin. So I really think that we should live out those purposes God has for us and and be available to think of and help other people in need serving through ministry. Maybe God's calling you to a different type of career, whatever it is, you need your health to do that. So make your health a priority so that you can shine for him and, and live out all of Think about that. He you're his workmanship. You're his masterpiece. And he has Ephesians 2 10 says for we are his masterpiece and we are supposed to do things that he created, created us to do long ago. So I love that. And Psalm 91 16 even says, I will satisfy you with a long life. I will show you how I will save you. So I chose that scripture because I think sometimes we think, I don't know how but do this with God. That's why I wrote faith inspired transformation because all the crazy dieting and everything out there is just going to steer you. It's just going to make you frustrated. Get with him, get in the word, pray before you eat, surrender your appetite to him. Give him your excuses when you don't want to work out, find your why. And you will, you will get, you will get in shape. You will be so much healthier. Wow. Kim, as usual, time goes fast when you're here and we're inspired and I'm hoping uh, Allison will pick up something and and have a better life. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. I definitely did, Kim. <laughs> Thanks for the motivation. All right. You're welcome. I have tons of free tools on my website right now. If you want to get started, head over there. I'm, I, I just set up some free tools there. You can just put in your email address and I'll send you some free information to get started because I know how hard this and frustrating this can be. And so, you know, from my heart to yours, please, please get started. You're worth it. All right. Well, thank you, Kim.